Hello and welcome back to this tutorial. This is part 2 of CAD 206 for Elgin Community College. This is the uh, part that we were putting in CAD and making it 3D. Uh, last time that we were here we did this part which is the two arms and this is what we got. And now we're gonna do the second part of this. So let's begin. So Look, reading at this uh, picture it says that we have 0.62 from this corner to the top of this and then from this outside corner to the other side it's 2.24 and the height is still remains the same 1.5 so we're gonna put that in CAD we're gonna make a rectangle we're gonna pick here 2.24 enter 1.5 enter and enter again so we're gonna go to isometric view let's see we're gonna read this so we have on the outside uh, we have 45 degree angle and on the top from the top out we have a 30 degree angle so we're gonna put those two angles in and if we go to the front view up here in the UCS we're gonna be this uh, look at this and we're gonna choose pick the front view and we're gonna do this we're gonna make two lines and this one we're gonna rotate 45 degrees from the bottom 45 degrees and this one we're gonna rotate the opposite way from the bottom which is gonna be negative 45 and we don't see but if we go and go back and we see the front we see those two angles right here alright so we're gonna continue in the front uh, plane we're gonna draw a line from here to here then we're gonna pick this line we're gonna move it up 0.62 and now we're gonna trim this pick this, pick this, and pick this one and we're gonna trim this alright now we're gonna join these lines together so we can work with them easier pick the line, modify, join so now we have a polyline so now we're gonna pick the right front we're gonna pick here Oh just go back home so okay so we're gonna pick the right front and we're gonna do this uh, the right front right here we're gonna hide this because it's gonna be in our way hide objects so now we're gonna rotate this negative 30 degrees goes in and now we're gonna copy this one or mirror it to the other side and we have that and now we go to the world home again and this is what we have so now we're gonna make a rectangle it's gonna come from this point to this point and to pick our center we're gonna make two lines in the middle good alright so we have our top part well not yet we're gonna do something in a minute alright actually let's make this a solid because right now it is not a solid and we can do this you see it's not a solid they're just line so we're gonna make it solid right now so we're gonna delete all these lines we're gonna just delete them and now we're gonna use our loft command we're gonna pick this one pick this one and then you hit enter twice and there we go we have our solid now so we go back to 3d wireframe and now we're gonna do our uh, 
uh, we're gonna do our this hole right here let's take a look real quick so we know that this hole goes to a point and then this is the bit that they used to uh, make this hole so we're gonna try to imitate that as well alright let's go back to CAD so we know that this hole is diameter 56 and depth 50 it's right in the, s the middle of this one of this part so we're gonna do that we don't have to calculate this anymore because we already know where the center is by doing this so let's pick a cylinder we're gonna make s this is made on diameter so uh, what is the uh, Okay, so we have actually let's make a let's make it so we have a diameter of point fifty point five six and then this we're gonna extrude change this command point five point five and then so once we're done with this uh, circle we're gonna draw a line uh, pick the line command and we're gonna draw a line let me just get closer to this right in the middle okay let's draw a 0.25 line enter and then I'm gonna connect this actually we don't need to do that because we're gonna use cone so we're gonna draw on this uh, pick the wrong spot so we're gonna draw a cone right in the middle and we're gonna bring it up to this let's see if we can bring the diameter of F3 okay right there good so that's that's our cone right now and we have this we delete this one now we're gonna join this two solids together so now we have one solid and if we go to wireframe we can see this now we're gonna rotate this uh, we're rotating on the AX now we're gonna move this we're gonna pick the center let me just pick wireframe we're gonna move this, we're gonna pick the center. Uh, and then we're gonna place it right here. And now we're gonna bring back our other part. So we have this. We can delete these lines because we don't need them anymore so they're not in the way so this is what we got now so <clears throat> we're gonna make this little one too so if we know that from the outside to the inside uh, from this point to the outside is 212 and this is 0.62 we have to figure it out what is in between those two let me get my calculator so this is how we do this so we add uh, 2.12 plus 0.62 this is our length 2.74 and if we uh, take 3.19 out of it we have 0.45 this is our uh, little space right here is 0.45 so we're gonna add that to this drawing before we do anything we're gonna take our we can do a box we can start right here we can pull it out it didn't pick that point so we're gonna do there you go 0.45.45 45. enter now we're gonna rotate this 
first we're going to rotate in our X and then we're going to rotate in our C which is the green um, now we're going to rotate it in our there you go in our Y axis Y axle and now we're going to move this all this piece we're going to place it right on the corner and now we're going to subtract this so for that we take this command subtract this command this command and we hit enter and then we pick this one and we subtract that from this and if we do a wire, I mean a conceptual view, this is what we have. And if we put a X-ray, hmm, X-ray, we can see that this is exactly what they're looking for. So I'm going to put a front view, X-ray, or we can do wireframe this is what we're, they're looking for and this is our PDF file which it's this is done and if you have any questions or any um, thing that you need to uh, you need some help with just let me know and I'll be more than glad to help you